catch on to the affectional nature of Christianity, conversion. It is not merely a decision to believe a fact. It is a heart treasuring Christ and His glory more than football, sex, money, power, play, toys. You've got to make this an issue Sunday after Sunday so that they feel scared that they're not saved. You know, I think some pastors are so afraid that somebody might walk up at the end of the service and say, you really jostled my assurance this morning. If we don't jostle people's assurance when they're not saved, we send them to hell. We must preach in such a way so that people can test. Test yourself, 2 Corinthians 13, 5 says. Test yourself to see if you are in the faith. Well, one of the tests is, do you love football more than you love Jesus? Do you love golf more than you love Christ? What does your heart say about Christ? Late at night, all alone, in front of an internet screen, mouse ready to click, what does your heart say about Christ over pornography? you got to get in their faces about this because there are a lot of people who've grown up in the church, Baptist churches, Methodist churches, Presbyterian churches, Catholic, Lutheran churches, who, for whom their faith is all tradition, all head. There's no power in their life to love Christ, to cherish Christ, to have similar kinds of affections for divine things that they have for earthly things. Make that an issue. So I'm praying that across this convention there would be a one-mindedness that we must all, yes, love justification, love redemption, love propitiation, love deliverance, love the healing power of God, love escape from hell, love entrance into heaven, love restoration with the relatives, but all of it is a means to an end. Namely, do you love Christ? Do you know Christ? Do you embrace Christ? Do you want Christ? If you've got cancer and you don't know how long, can you say from your heart, to die is gain, God will take care of Noel. To die is gain and feel it. That's a challenge. Then the rubber meets the road. Do you feel this would be good? This would be a gift. This would be sweet. Pastors, let's do this. Let's help our people be saved.